Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Twin Entertainment News. We have quite a few things to talk about in this episode, so let's get started. In book world news, we have the release of Crimson Death Happy by Laurel K. Hamilton. This is the 25th book in her series, the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series. Um, in this book, it's uh, where it's focusing on her vampire servant, Damien. He has a master that is, I guess he's doing some evil things. So they're going to take a trip to Ireland to try to see if they can stop him. So I'm really excited about it because it's very big. And huge. I love huge books with a lot of world building. <laughs> so if you haven't read the series, check out the first 24 books before you get to this one. Because you need to learn about all the characters before mm -hmm. you move on to this one. But it's so worth it. It's very interesting. Like It's got a lot of cool plot twists. It's, it, you'll enjoy it if you give it a chance. Yep. And in music news, Timberlake and Chill, that's what I said, Timberlake and Chill. Justin Timberlake's new special is releasing tomorrow on Netflix, JT and the Tennessee Kids. Check it out. It's going to be on Netflix and I know it's going to be awesome because Justin Timberlake is awesome. Also, in entertainment news, another thing that's exciting that's going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks, which my sister and I are actually going to attend, is going to be held by Entertainment Weekly. I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's called Pop Fest. It's going to be the if you best heard about Pop Fest, thing you're probably ever. Under a rock. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of people are talking about it right now. It's the first event that Entertainment Weekly is actually holding that I can think of that's in Los Angeles that fans can actually attend. I know they did something for Comic Con people, but this is like something that's going to be something we see in the it's magazine, a, like kind of a, more of a fan base kind mm -hmm. of thing this time. So for the lineup, they've got quite a few great people. So on Saturday, October 29th, they're going to have Jerry Padalecki, Jensen Ackles, Stephen Amell, Grant Gustin, Melissa Benoist, Katie Lotz, the Gilmore Girls, Happy Endings cast, and then Nick Jonas and Janelle Monae are performing for them. Oh my God, that's going to be so and exciting. And that's just Saturday. Yeah. And then on Sunday, they have the they're going to have a, a, a what is a viewing of Scream a, the, and, for the 20th anniversary. And the cast of Bob's Burgers is going to do, do a, a live table, table reading. reading. Of the show. So that's going to be pretty fun. And so. James Corden will be interviewed by Jess Cagle. So I think that if you have the opportunity to go, you should check it out and go to the Pop Fest website. You can get the tickets on I'm sorry. Even, on, uh, even on eventbrite.com. No, actually it's on EW popfest.com slash tickets. And it'll take you to event, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'll get the tickets. VIP tickets for sold one day are already out. sold out, so you might want to get on getting your tickets General admission is still available. General admission is available, and they are going to be doing radio contests to get VIP tickets out there. So if you're, good at, if you're good at radio contests, this is your this is your. Yeah, well, I'm not getting radio contests, but good luck to you if that's what you're into. In movie news, last night we went to go see The Girl on the Train. It's based on the book written by Paula Hawkins, and it stars Emily, Emily Blunt, Blunt as Rachel, <laughs> Who is the main character? It has a Haley Bennett. She's playing Megan Hipwell. Rebecca Ferguson is Anna. Justin Thoreau is Tom. Luke Evans is Scott Hipwell. Laura Papon is her roommate Kathy and Allison Janney and Lisa Kudrow. So it's quite a big cast of characters. <laughs> Um, it's. It, I think that the movie w was pretty good. Um, I'd say maybe I'd give it probably about. I'd say like maybe like a B because really? I I thought it was I thought it was good, but I uh, I do kind of agree with what um, what Paula Hawkins said about Emily Blunt being a little pretty for the way <laughs> she saw Rachel. Because I mean Emily Blunt, it's it's hard to make her look you know rough and you know drunk and beaten up. But I mean she did a good job looking like that. <laughs> But it's just you know, it, she just she didn't look as un as beat as, down as you wanted. Yeah, to. yeah, pretty much, yeah. But overall, I say the movie was good. It, you know, there was a lot of shock involved, and, mm -hmm. and if you've read the books, you already know no, what happens. Yeah. But if you haven't read the book, um, you're you're gonna be pretty you're gonna be pretty shocked by the outcome of what happens when you find out what the you know what the whole secret is. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to give you any spoilers. No, no but spoilers. It is it is a good book. You know, I mean, it is a good movie because it was a book, and it'll have you on the edge of your seats. Because I know when I was reading the book, I kept flipping the pages because mm -hmm. I was. Happen know what's next. happening next but it was a really really it's a really really good movie so i like i said i give it a b just because i just i i felt like like i said i mean i know it's awful for me to say that just but that yeah i'm sorry <laughs> well uh, if you want to check it out obviously everybody knows it's playing worldwide so we don't need to tell you this time where it's playing so go check out the girl on the train it's really good